It doesn't come on when you need it. This comes on when you first do it. Let's see. Okay, what I'm trying to do, let's turn this around. Okay. Yeah, the light, light won't come on. There's some light on the subject, but it's just reflecting. You're seeing me in the house instead of what I'm trying to make a video of. It's over there on that side. Where is it? Oh, I don't have the door open. Okay, the whole thing is I plan on editing this, but if I don't, then it would be useless, won't it? There it is. That is the little hole I was running the water through. It's up in the top, above your basket. And I thought I could, uh, the way they described it, you, you know, you run water th through the res reservoir intake. And you could, uh, they said shake it. And you could get it to clean out. But uh, I didn't, uh, that much pressure. There's the reservoir intake, can't see it, can you? I'm trying to get light on it. Anyway, I'm sure you've seen it if you've got one of these. Um, I couldn't get it to go that way. I can see junk in there, and I've cleaned it with vinegar several times in the last couple months or so. And I got bought some CLR. That's I used that before, and I bought some more of that. That CLR cleaner. It's it seemed to do better. I used it on it on it one time, other time. So, but that's the deep. Uh, Cuisinart 650DB, 650DB or DB650, was well, good until, well every once in a while it would clog up, you know, and I had to clean it, but uh, other than that it was good for about three years, which is not long enough, because the, the old 600 worked for about seven years, which in these days that's pretty good for appliances. I got 1950s and 70s appliances that still work right now, just got tired of looking at them put them in the cabinet so uh, anyway we'll dry we'll let it drain and dry and then I'll probably spray can't spray the inside good you can get a little straw and squirt it towards the inside where the electrical stuff is with some electrical cleaner that it will also dry out any water because you don't want to plug it in wet and blow it up burn it up blow it up oddly enough electronics can as long as you dry them back out, most of them can, uh, this is not a recommendation, but I have observed that most of them can live through getting wet if uh, you dry them out good. And real, and, but if you use the electrical cleaner uh, stuff, wait for it to dry because that stuff's highly flammable. Alright, it's done. Bye-bye.